Hi everyone, Jack from The Mirror here, and I'm just checking in with today's World Cup video diary. Uh, we're not in Sydney this evening, we're up in Terragal, which is where the England team are based for the duration of this tournament. Um, and we've just heard from Beth England, who obviously came off the bench during that dramatic uh, win against Nigeria, scored in the, in the penalty shootout, one of the four players to score their penalty. Um, and she was just speaking to, to the media this evening, which was, it was good to hear from her for the first time at this tournament. Um, the big, I think the, the main takeaway was probably the fact uh, somewhat someone raised the possibility of, obviously last year she was an unused member of Serena Wiegmann's squad and whether sort of, whether her role around the camp was was the reason that she was um, she was picked again for for the World Cup squad this year because it was a, it was a late decision in the day. Obviously, the majority of England squads this season she hasn't made, um, and it was it was probably the biggest surprise I think if we think back to that squad announcement day back at the end of May. Um, and she just basically said, uh, "I'm I'm not here because I'm a nice person. I'm here because I score goals." Um, I think it's a little just yeah a bit of a a window into the sort of character and mindset that she's brought to this team. And obviously with Rachel Daly now, seemingly, I think would we'd assume would be seen as a left back or a left wing back, uh, depending on formation for the rest of this tournament. Beth England is basically now just competing with Alessia Russo for that, that number nine spot. Um, so her chances of, uh, chances of being on the pitch for, for even more minutes throughout the tournament are, are probably quite high. Um, so yeah, it was good to hear from her and uh, England will fly to Sydney tomorrow. Uh, they'll travel over in the afternoon and we'll be hearing from Serena Wiegmann uh, at Stadium Australia, which is where Saturday's quarterfinal with Colombia will take place. So yeah, we'll have lots more build-up uh, on the mirror over the coming days and I'll be back with another diary from Sydney tomorrow.